Hi everyone, let's start in the Procreate app and we're gonna be making a doodle picture like Marty Cooper. Start in the gallery and click the plus sign and click screen size to start a new work of art. Go to the gallery right away and where it says untitled artwork, type in your name and your partner's name and click done. After you've done that, you are going to add a photo to the background. So how to do that is to go to Safari on your iPad, the little compass down here. You'll open up Google, and then in the search bar of Google, search what you want your background to be. I searched the moon because I wanted kind of like an outer space picture. And when I found one that I liked, on the right-hand side here, I held my finger down on the picture, and I'm going to click Add to Photos. That will save the photo to your photo library on the iPad. Then go back to Procreate. Up here by the gallery, go to the wrench, click Add, click Insert a Photo. Click on that photo that you saved. Move the sidebar circles so that you have your picture as big as you like and you can move it around and position it where you like. Then click the arrow again to deselect it. Then go to your layers and you're gonna add a new layer. So this top layer here is where you'll add your doodle. I suggest using the brush called Monoline under Calligraphy. I like to doodle with that brush because it's a nice solid brush to doodle with. You can change the size of your brush if you like, and of course we know you can change the color of your brush. If you make a mistake, you can erase with the eraser or you can go undo and redo these little arrows right here. All right, I'm gonna show you what my finished works, work of art looks like. And I wanna show you my doodle. So in my second layer here, I have my little doodle. I actually added two layers one with the astronaut and one with the little alien. And then when I was finished, I pushed those layers together so that they were the same layer. I can go to the arrow up top here to move it around, resize it if I like, position it where I like. And of course, feel free to experiment with any of the brushes that can give some neat effects in your work of art if you want. You can also experiment with any of the editing tools up here, with the enhancements. We know how to do some of these so far. And have fun. Remember, you have to make two of these works of art. So when you're finished with one, go to the gallery and start a second one. When you're finished with both, let your teacher know what your iPad number is so that we can print your work. All right, everyone, I can't wait to see your work. Happy art.